everybody and welcome back to my channel so today i'm filming a really exciting video and um, that is a back to school haul i am not actually sure if i've ever done one of these because i don't always buy that much stuff but this year i have two bags so i've got a lot of stuff i mean most of it's notebooks and folders but like i like seeing stuff like this so i figured you guys probably would too so i'm just gonna jump straight into it and show you what i've got for my back to school so in case anybody is new or they don't know i do a levels i'm just going into my second year and i'm probably dropping law so i'm doing three subjects i'm doing sociology media and psychology so i have to have folders and notebooks for all of those subjects so the first folder i've got is this blue stripy one this is a smaller one because I tend not to use a folder that much for sociology, it might be different this year because I've got a different teacher, but last year I didn't. So I, everything that I bought is from Tesco's, this folder I think it was either £2.50 or £1.50, but yeah it's literally perfect for what I need. So the next thing is these dividers. Again, they're from Tesco's, like everything, so I'm going to stop saying that. Um, they're just paper, like, card dividers that, obviously, are for putting in between things in your folders. And I've run out, so, yeah. The next thing that I got is Tipex. Tipex um, rolling things, because if you have to use them during class, it's kind of difficult to use the pens or the one that has to dry, because you have to write quite quickly sometimes. Um, and the reason why there's one missing is because my sister's using one and I've got the other two. Next thing is a massive pink puka or pucker pad, I don't really know how you say it. Just looks like that. It's got 400 pages in, I'm going to be using this one for sociology or media because we do write quite a lot in notebooks in them so I just figured get a big notebook at the beginning of the year and I'll be sorted. I'm, I know most people for college they tend to use only one notebook but I don't always file my stuff and I like just to have the notes for each subject in one notebook and I found that worked well for me last year so I'm just going to keep doing that this year. And then I've got another notebook, this is just the Tesco notebook which has 160 pages and this is for psych because Sorry about that, the laptop I think is about to die, I'm going to go and sort it out. So this notebook is for psych because we tend not to write in notebooks that much in it but I just like to have one in case there are any notes that we do need to make or anything I need to do for my homework or whatever. The thing is a blooming massive folder which is for um, psychology or um, media because I tend to file more than for those. Actually on second floor so I didn't need to buy two massive ones because I'm dropping law and that's what I filed a lot for. But and I could just use my law folders except I'm probably gonna keep my law stuff. I don't know why I'm telling you this, it's literally irrelevant. But yeah and it's really cute. It's this blooming beautiful on the front of it. And yes I think it was three pounds this one but I'm not too sure. This thing is another pucker peak pad whatever they're called this one's in purple i wanted to have two different colors so i could easily see like when i was in my bag which notebook i needed so yeah it's just exactly the same as the other one the next thing is just another bigger folder probably use this one for psychology or media and it's really pretty it's just got a load of leaves on it and again i think it was three pounds it's just a ring binder next thing are some of my favourite pens they're these Bic ones the coloured ones um, they're called Crystal Fun I always get these, these are literally my favourite pens ever they're so useful especially for revision and stuff because they're all kind of different colours or when you're making notes that you want to use a different coloured pen and then just black I think it's something I might not necessarily need it's just last year I didn't really have any and there were some occasions where I needed them. It's just so much coloured pencils. I literally just got the Tesco ones because I didn't need any special. It's not like I'm doing art or some su a subject where you actually need to colour. It's just sometimes I have to. So on to the next bag. There's not that much left in here now. 
the next thing I got is just a pencil sharpener. It's just the Tesco one again. They didn't really have much selection of pencil sharpeners, to be honest. So I just chose this one. It's pink by the looks of it. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it's really cheap, like 60p, possibly less. Next thing I've got is a rubber. Um, it just says delete on it, which I mean, I don't really like it that much, but again, they didn't have that much choice of rubbers. And I don't really see the need of spending like a pound on a rubber when this one was like 60p, so yeah. The next thing is again, just Tesco value. It is whiteboard markers in red, green, blue and black for I tend to revise these my sash cards which I am going to be filming a revision video for all of my subjects or I might do them separately, I haven't decided yet but there will be one relating to every single subject coming in the next few weeks because obviously it is back to school season on YouTube so yes. Um, so if you want to see how I revise in more detail then definitely tune into that video which I am actually super excited to make but I tend to use a whiteboard to write answers to stuff often when I'm revising to like say paper and just because I find that easy and um, so I just ran out of whiteboard pens when I was revising for AS so I need some more. This is the second to last thing and it's a diary it's actually really big they didn't have a very good selection but this one was the best one that I could see I mean, it's really big because it has like a whole A5 page for every weekday but that is actually sort of good because the one I had last year I ended up finding it a bit um, small sometimes if I had big homeworks but I hope this one will be a little bit better. It, I really like how it looks as well, it feels really nice and it looks like it would be good quality so that's why I chose this one over some of the other ones they had. Um, I'm not sure how much it was, it may have been like three quid, four quid, something like that, but yeah. So on to the final thing, this is something I've never actually got before. Um, it's a 12 pack of Tesco binder clips and I've never actually used them before, as I've just said. I don't have a clue how much they were, but the reason I got them is because I've used so many elastic bands to like try and put uh, flashcards together that we now don't have any elastic bands left so I thought instead of using elastic bands I'll use these and see if I like them. There's 12 in here so I'll probably have to get another pack of these elastic bands again soon but just to see how I go with them and if they don't work well for that I'm sure they'll come in useful for something else. That was quite a short um, video for a back to school haul compared to others that might be on youtube but i didn't need all that much stuff i didn't need a pencil case or anything and i am actually getting a new backpack but i haven't had a chance to go out and get one yet but once i have got on that one there will be a back to school um what's in my backpack video so yes thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already to see more videos from me i'll see you soon Bye!